Hello everybody, it's Pineapple here, back with another video. And so today I thought I'd talk about the best lore archetype, and that is branded. Um, discount sword soul, because they're more side characters. Um, so, if you're unfamiliar with branded, it's a fusion-centric deck based around this little guy, uh, Fallen of Albaz. He's great, we love Albaz, he's amazing, he's the protagonist. Uh, so let's get into the card by card. First up, we have one copy of Albion the Shrouded Dragon, um, who allows you to bin for a cost a branded spell trap. Uh, usually you're bidding retribution in order to add back your other branded spell traps in your grade. Um, it also allows you to mulligan and then draw, which is unbelievable. Um, we're on one copy of the Bestial Rebellion in order to kind of make a Bestial package sort of playable. It's not really too critical to the deck, but it does matter. Um, and the most important thing is that he's a light, which means that you can make Albion in corner cases that you need to. Um, we're on one Adlib of Adlib, um, Adlib's great because if it gets banished, it lets you bring back a fusion monster or a Despia monster. Um, which is great so that you can use um, Branded in Red along with Adlib and a Spent Mirror Jade in order to make Chimera and then bring back the Mirror Jade um, to get a second activation. Um, it's really great. It doesn't come up too much, but you do have to play it because when it does, it really matters. Um, two covers of Bestial Sarnir. Uh, Sarnir is great. When it's sent to the grave, it allows you to bin a Branded Spell Trap or a Bestial Monster. Um, so, yeah, he's great. He just lets you search out your Branded Spell Traps that you want to put in the grave, add back with something like... Uh, retribution or set off of beast um which is just incredibly useful we're on three copies of Aluber, the booper of duper who on normal or special allows you to grab a branded spell trap um so 99 percent of the time you're gonna be grabbing branded fusion and if you're not you're most likely going to be grabbing lost but either way um you're grabbing something really powerful three copies of albaz who on normal or special allows you to super poly um which does come up uh he super polys using himself and one opponent's monster which is really great uh, because with Rindbrum, you actually do summon him. It does matter. Um, moving on, we have one copy of Springgan's Kit, who, if you control a fusion monster that mentions Fallen of Albaz or one is in your grave, you can special her for free. Um, additionally, when she's no more special, she lets you add a branded spell trap, and then you have to put a card from your hand back into your deck. So she's kind of like worse a uh, looper, uh, but she does let you mulligan away, you know, dead cards, which is great. Uh, we're on one copy of Cartesia, Cartesia is so good. She does so much for the deck. Um, if Albaz is in your grave or field, uh, you can special her for free. And then during the main phase quick effect, you get to fusion summon a level eight or higher fusion monster from your extract using monsters from your hand or graveyard as the material. Um, she's unbelievable. She does so much for the deck uh, and you'll get to see why uh, simply because the fusion that she's intended to make is just unbelievable and does so much good stuff. Um, moving on, we have two copies of Tri Brigade Mercurier. You need two for the combo uh, that involves Rindbrum. Um, previously you would play one, uh, but now, you know, we can play two. Um, so, uh, it's a hand trap that says when your opponent activates monster effect while you control a fusion monster that mentions Albaz as a material, you can send it from your hand or field to the grave and negate that effect. Uh, additionally, if it's banished, you get to add a monster that either is or mentions Fallen of Albaz in its text, um, which comes up a whole lot. Um, you actually use it in combo very consistently in order to make, uh, Lubellion by banishing it. Um, we'll demonstrate that later. Uh, moving on, we have one copy of Tragedy, who if it's sent to the grave or is banished by card effect, you get to add a Despia monster, um, and the deck has un uh, unbelievable uh, number of ways to just do this. Um, it starts your combo, it's great! Um, two copies of Ash Blossom, uh, uh, just as a cross-out target, uh, as well as just an extra interruption, I couldn't find space for more. Um, one copy of Dark Magician, we are on a Dragoon package since it dumpsters back row decks, uh, you need it in the main. Uh, just to occasionally, you know, go into uh, Dragoon. Uh, it does matter. Um, two copies of Allure. Um, you have a lot of dark monsters that like to be banished. Um, Allure is great. Draw power is fantastic. Uh, two copies of Branded Fusion. It allows you to fusion summon from your deck using Albaz as the material and one other monster. Uh, but you're completely locked into fusion. And what do you know? We're only playing fusion, so it doesn't matter. Uh, we're on one copy of Branded in White, which allows you to poly, except you have to use a dragon monster. And if you use Albaz, you get to banish from your grave as well. Um, it's a very powerful card, and we're often searching it with Kit in combo. One copy of Bluish Burial to kickstart combos, send uh, materials that we need, etc., etc. Uh, one co uh, three copies of Fusion Deployment. Fusion Deployment's fantastic. Uh, just summon a material uh, from a Fusion Monster from your deck that is mentioned on a Fusion Monster by revealing it to your opponent. Um, unbelievable! Uh, most of the time you're grabbing Cart, but occasionally you can grab DM or uh, Albaz. Uh, one copy of Gold Sark. It's an extra copy of Foolish Burial for things like... Uh, Mercurial or Tragedy. Um, it's just kind of worse foolish burial in this deck. Uh, one copy of Branded in Red so we can make uh, Guardian Chimera on our opponent's turn. Um, 
it's 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 branded in red you know what this card does um one copy of branded opening in order to kickstart all of our combos um earlier here like in the draw phase one copy of called by the grave because ash can ruin our day so we don't want to let it one copy of super poly just as a board breaker just as a one-up uh one copy of branded regain to make our whole bestial package pay off as a uh resource loop uh one copy of branded lost in order to search things like mercurial uh for hand traps as well as to protect our fusions and to get us to things like kit uh one copy of branded beast again pay off to the bestial package and one retribution who you, which you can banish from your grave in order to who add a branded spell trap from your graveyard to your hand. In the extra, we have one copy of Perskenion, which is the target for uh, the Dusk Dragon. I won't even try to pronounce its name, um, but uh, Perskenion reads that you, during the main phase, you can target a Fusion Synchro like Caesar Link in your opponent's grave and either banish it or special it to your field, um, which is really great. He's also a huge dude, which is difficult to get over. Uh, one copy of Guardian Chimera is the payoff to branded in red, as well as a pop two, draw one, or draw two, pop one, etc., etc. Uh, uh, two copies of Mirror Jade, um, which has you been a Albaz fusion monster from your deck, extra deck to the graveyard as a cost, and then non-targeting banish something on the field. Mirror Jade's great. Um, and that's a soft once per turn banish, which is great, and if it leaves the field, you know, you get to pull up their field. Uh, one copy of Dragoons, so, which is the reason we are playing Dark Magician. One Dragos Depelia as a sketchy target for our, our branded in red, as well as a super poly target. Uh, two copies of Albion, uh, mostly just as a send off Mirror Jade aid, and Dust Dragon. Um, one copy of Quirtus, who we can tag into just to clean up boards um, or make off of, you know, Branded and Red. Uh, it comes up sometimes, it does matter. Um, Dust Dragon, this is a new card, it's unbelievable. It's Cartesia plus any light or dark monster, and on Fusion Summon, it lets you send a level 6 or higher light or dark from your deck to your grave, or your extra deck to the grave. And you know, there's no good cards like those. Um, and if a monster is special summoned um, by your opponent's activated monster effect, uh, you can banish it from the field and special summon um, a Despia uh, or Dogmatica monster. Um, you know, so like Briskenion or Quirtus. Uh, two copies of Lubellion for a combo. One copy of Masquerade the Blazing Dragon to burn our opponent and make them very angry. One copy of Rindbrum, who's fantastic, who lets you negate a activated effect of a um, extra deck monster. Um, additionally, if it's in the grave, during your opponent's turn, you can... Uh, banish it to summon Albaz, or you can banish Albaz to summon itself. Uh, and then one Mud Dragon for, of course, Super Poly. Uh, so with that, let's hop into the games and see the combos in uh, order. So for our first match, we are up against uh, Sulf Court, uh, which I didn't know their cards did anything. But they'll start with one for one pitching Dark Worm uh, in order to get Cutie up uh, for Gracia. I don't know what any of these cards do, truth be told. I had to read them all. Uh, but they'll drop uh, Kong Wizen on us, which you know, it doesn't do anything. We don't have any interruption. They'll special out uh, Gracia and trigger her in order to grab Elegance, which I do know is a crazy, crazy card. Um, from here, they'll link off for Beyond the Pend um, and trigger Beyond the Pend in order to grab Angelia. Uh, I think that's the name. Uh, they'll fire Elegance to set scales um, and then Pend Summon. Uh, they'll grab out uh, Dark Worm um, as well as tributing off for Beautia. Um, from here, they'll make Absurouter er, and link off for their pen, uh, Link Monster. Um, which is a negate. Um, so we're playing through two negates here, but we have everything we could ever want, and we'll start with Aluber. Um, we'll add Lost, and unfortunately for them, this is pretty much the end of the game, as we have everything. We'll fire Lost and Super Poly in order to get out Dragos Topelia, trigger Lost, grab Kit, um, before firing Dragos Topelia to negate their Link Monster. From here, they'll trigger their Link Monster, special out their guy, and negate us. We'll fire Branded Fusion now that they're out of activations, make Rinbrum, as well as using uh, the Bestial Sarnir in order to banish uh, Merc in order to trigger Merc to grab us a copy of Cart. From here, we'll special out Cart, um, as well as fire Infusion Deployment, revealing Dragoon in order to get out Dark Magician, um, and we'll fire Cart, Art, they'll pop Cart, and we will make Dragoon. Uh, this is basically the end of the game. We'll bin Retribution, clear their Link Monster, burn them, as well as adding back Branded Fusion for a later date. From here, we'll special out Kit, trigger Kit, uh, grab Branded in White, and Mulligan away the copy of Branded Fusion. We'll fire her off and make the ever lovely copy of Mirror Jade, and they will concede. So if you hadn't noticed, um, Branded Fusion is no longer our only play. It is mostly the play enabler. Well, I... So for our second replay, I dem wanted to demonstrate, again, playing through interruptions and the power of that. Um, they'll start with Terraforming. It's, of course, ABC. Um, they'll grab Union Hanger, which is, you know, just the best card in their deck. They'll grab V. Um, and from here, they're just going to start doing Union 
um, just doing ABC things. They'll equip a copy of C, fire to Strudo because they hard drew it, uh, and then make AFD, which is fantastic for them. They'll trigger A, uh, they'll trigger B and C, grab themselves another copy of B, special out A. We'll fire Sarnir in order to banish the C in hopes that they don't have anything else, but it uh, doesn't really matter here. We're just going to try to slow them down. They'll grab um, Theory and Discoliseum off of uh, AFD, uh, and then they'll grab Regulus. From here, they'll trigger Reg, uh, targeting this copy of B. Um, and they'll special out uh, the B, they'll link away for flat gadget and trigger both of their Bs, you know, because these cards don't have ones per turn. So why would they do that? They'll grab C, E, and another copy of B, um, just for all the link materials in the world. They're, they'll trigger uh, flat gadget, link off for IP, as well as uh, summoning out this B, they'll make A, B, C, E, equip another B, and set one and pass back to us. Uh, from here, we're kind of in a sketchy position, but we're ultimately fine. We'll start with Albion to Mulligan, and we'll draw into a Luber, which is just unbelievable. We'll add Lost, um, and we'll drop, of course, this copy of Lost. They'll fire ABC to banish it, because they don't want us to have access to that. Um, we'll allure and banish Tragedy, and grab ourselves a copy of Adlet. Um, from here, we'll fire Branded Fusion. They will negate, but it's kind of fine for us. Uh, we'll proceed to the battle, and they'll link off for Avermax at the end of main. We'll crash this copy of the Bestial Sarnir. They'll add back their Regulus off of disc, and we'll trigger Sarnir in order to bin this copy of Branded in White. From here, we will use Retribution to grab back Branded in White. We'll make Dragoon, because we are a bunch of evil monsters. Um, they will tr use ABC, we will negate, and they will try to imperm, not realize that, realizing that Dragoon cannot be targeted. Um, from here, we will clear their copy of AFD, special out of Cartesia, and we will trigger Cart in order to make the Dusk Dragon and bin this copy of Rinbra. Um, from here, here, we'll pass back to our opponent, um, we'll draw for turn, earn, and they will concede as we were going to fuse away their copy of uh, the ever-lovely uh, Avermax for Mirror Jade, and subsequently just Mirror Jade their normal summon, uh, ending the game effectively. So, for our final match, I thought I'd showcase just me winning the mirror match. Uh, we haven't drawn Branded Fusion, unfortunately, which is really bad for us, and they've also drawn Deployment. Uh, the, the normal Lugar after deploying for Cartesia, they'll grab Branded Fusion, but we do have Ash, fortunately, but they have lost as well. They'll fire Branded Fusion, we will Ash, they'll chain Cart, as well as Opening, in order to get out Tragedy. They'll make uh, Grand D Dust Dragon, Trigger, Trigger Lost, and of course, um, Tragedy. Um, in order to grab um, the ever lovely Albion the Shrouded Dragon, as well as as a copy of Adlib. They will add back this copy of Opening off of Retribution, set one and pass back to our, us, but not before they get to add back everyone's favorite um, guy, a Opening. They'll fire Opening um, in order to grab another copy of Branded Fusion for next turn, but unfortunately for them, there isn't really going to be one. Um, We'll fire Albion, bent, binning our own Retribution, and drawing into Lost, which is a crazy good draw. We'll normal Albaz, pitch uh, this copy of DM, they'll trigger, of course, everyone's favorite, favorite branded in red, but we'll just fuse away the Chimera, because we don't really care, which prevents it from triggering. Um, we'll add Kit off this, before branded in white, for or everyone's favorite guy, Dragoon, and that is the end of the game. Um, Unfortunately, they didn't realize that Albaz doesn't have to pick his target, uh, what he wants to fuse into, until he is uh, resolving the effect. Uh, so, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. I've really enjoyed this deck. Uh, hopefully, I've got some more uh, replays coming with it, and I will see you guys in the next one.